hey guys uh, welcome to the next session uh, under this session we are going to see how we can simulate the uh, working of our uh, assembly right uh, for simulating the models uh, you go to the application menu and the, the application you can find that the option called mechanism okay you just select that mechanism once the mechanism is set up uh, usually uh, under normal condition uh, motors would be connected to the crank sections okay in order to rotate the crank okay so uh, similar operation we are going to make here uh, for setting up the motor you just go to the server motor and select it uh, under the reference you need to select the axis or which uh, the servo motor would be connected uh, now i am going to connect it over this axis over this over here my motor will be set up so select this axis now uh, it has been uh, set up now you go to the profile detail in order to set up the velocity of the motor you go to the profile and you under the driven quantity you select the angular velocity okay uh, under the velocity coefficient uh, you just give some 45 degrees per second it is the uh, it is our desired angular velocity once you are done so uh, you just select the tick mark and uh, finalize it uh, now once we have set up the parameters now we can run the simulation okay for running the simulation before running we must first analyze it whether it is correct or not so for that you just select the mechanism analysis and uh, we can set up the uh, frame rates and uh, minimum time required and the ma maximum time for which an analysis should be done like those things we can uh, set up here for end time i would like to give 25 as the end time uh, you can give your own uh, click ok uh, before clicking ok you just run it you can see that uh, our operation is complete once the mechanism has been analyzed successfully without any errors we just click ok now we can run the playback for as many time as uh, we wish for that you just click the playback option under the playback you just select the playback play the current set once you click uh, the uh, animate data box would appear <coughs> okay uh, under that you just play the option under the current we can vary the speed by varying the ribbon over here place it to the maximum for maximum speed just close it if you would like to visualize it you just play now we can see that the operation is being performed right this is how the basic animation would work in Creo. Uh, in the next uh, uh, session, we will see how we can save this animation such that we can uh, show to our uh, uh, friends and other uh, important people. Right? Uh, we shall see it in the next one. Uh, to practice it more, uh, because it is uh, it would be more uh, interesting. Okay. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.